Yeah, I'm all bush turkeys. Hey, what are you doing on here? What's up? Eh? Bush turkey at Byron Bay, there's another one over there. Eh. Alright, we'll go up here. And I think, I hope this is, um, yeah, microphone. Scene one, take two with this microphone. Do you know what the actual, what this is called? This. No. Where, well, the lighthouse is just up there, but. Obviously, Byron Bay, but I mean, where it, not, it's called something I'm where we stopped. Water water. Yeah, Just you're more than welcome to go for a board. surf. Do you bring your surfboard or not? No. You should I have done. This is Byron Bay, you, you got to have a surfboard. Yeah, well, yeah, but we do have a quarry that gives that stuff away for free. Yeah, no, I'm going up the steps here. Shut it off till I get up. There's a nice rocky outcrop. You're coming up the stairs. Let's see. see Floyd down there. Oh, there he is. Just seen throwing rocks. Mia, yeah, what do you think of this view? Hey? Eh? Yeah, what's this view like? Nice, isn't it? Don't have, you don't have to say anything. The question is, I'm puffing for some reason, I don't know why. The question is, how far can we take a caravan? Oh, I don't know. Because, look, put simply, we're trying to get to the lighthouse. And we don't even know if we're supposed to be where we are, let alone at the lighthouse. What's that island out here, Zoe? That island? No. What's it called? No. Uh, I don't know. There it is. That's that. Rocks and sea. So Beth was um, pretty adamant that, that Wayne should get out and enjoy himself while he's here. He spent a lot of time here. It's a very special place for him. And um, she said, look, just go out and, and meet up with friends and have a really good time. Get out and and, you know, do what you do, as it were. Um, she's very passionate about Wayne's mental health and he's... and everything like that. She's, uh, so, yes, he thought, all right, I'll meet up with some friends and go out and... Yeah, it would be fantastic. <laughs> We've got to find out is how far we can take, I've said this I know, Floyd, but we've got to find out how far we can take this caravan. Why? See what you do if you come to Byron Bay, you put one of those little yeah. buttons on the back of your head, if you're a bloke, you've got to have one of those things on the back. I think it's the law here, I'm not sure. Inlet lake. And look at those houses. You can stay in these chalets things. They're not houses. Now oh, whatever. Um, and there's a big <laughs> beak thing there. Another one of those sort of Yeah, they are sort of houses. Cottages we call them. And you can see there it's got water fountains, it's got these birds in the trees. <laughs> they're storks. I don't think they're storks, they're <coughs> No, they're called 
Oh stop. God! What fight! Bush turkey fight! Hey, they're having a, there's four of them. Is These, I right, see. It's funny. Way. We saw one. We're like, gee, look at that. That's a bush. Since yeah. then, we're tripping over the damn things. Yeah, they're everywhere. It's like the freaking uh, plovers. Thing. Little yeah, plovers. Yeah, we thought, wow, little plover. Yeah. Now we, everywhere we go is little plovers. To the point now where we're beating them with uh, sticks and killing them because there's too many of them. Look at the rope. It looks well, like, I hit it looks, one. Looks like it made a rope ring. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? it? That's something Tarzan could have swung off. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it. How do you know who he is? Hey? How do you know who he is? How do I know he is? I could get a that, that is definitely a vine that Tarzan would have jumped off. Of course you can climb it. You gotta go Floyd, you gotta go oh, oh, oh. That's how Tarzan is. I don't know why he made that stupid noise come to think of it. Yeah. <laughs> Not very glamorous. <laughs>
it's, you can't go in the house, I assume. I don't know. It's this full. Is there anyone in there? I think we found Chris Hemsworth's mansion. Can't open it for some reason. We're going back down and think over. Yeah, we'll probably go. Tomorrow, let's wait. We 1901. Let's it's been there since then. If only we could afford something like that. That sun's pretty much gone, isn't it? No, I see it. Like you can thing. see it, yeah. It does look pretty spectacular there. It's just over that. But that cloud wasn't there. We'll be seeing a nice sunset. Before it gets right in the road. What is this? It's just a trigon, trigon electrical station. Some of the stations form part of New South Wales, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is this the most, like, isn't it the most southern point of something here? Or something like that, whatever. Yeah, give it a rest with Chris. Let's go, it's a bit cold, isn't it? I wish I was just flying in the sky. That is actually turning. These don't really look like sharks. See that? If you have a look, Floyd, very, very closely, you can see that he's turning. And it is signalling chip, ships. Except there's not really No, except really I don't see a ship anywhere. Yeah, the not really if there was one, they'd be yeah, seeing, they'd be like, oh, look here, there's a lot of see. That's the end of the bar and lighthouse. Um, the rocks that have grown. Yeah, these rocks are grown by the dog like how uh, that place has grown. There's people down there in that beach. Gee, the sun goes down so quick though, doesn't it? I wanted to go down the um, main street there. It'd be dark by the time we get there. See so, yeah. Sitting there relaxing, watching the sun. There's not that many people here either. <laughs> it's all iconic. So that's where we've just been. Can you, we're just up there. As close as I can get it. All the way down here. Yeah, now we come back here. It's not, there's barely anyone here. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Everyone's speaking different languages. Yeah. We're about 50 k's, less than 50 k's from Coffs Harbour. I'm well, just looking at these trees. Like this, uh, hang on, there's some huge trees here. Well, not, they're not that big, but I suppose really, but they're um, I'm not real sure what sort of trees they are. I see some there. They look like a type of gum up high. Gum you look at them right there. There, they don't look that big. Yeah, I, I can't think. Can't well, think um, what they are. 
It's an interesting bush though, isn't it? You see the palms and stuff growing in amongst it all. And it just goes for miles and miles, this, this sort of bush around here, around these areas. Oh, is that? Oh, just mud. Yeah, it's quite amazing. On the side of these highways, of course, but thinking about these highways is what's good is you can sit on 110 you don't have to stop for anything if you don't want to yeah so we're heading towards Coffs Harbour I think and um, just stop looking at the bush yeah so there we are at the Coffs Harbour City Council Park Beach ironically Floyd isn't it Ironic that we've all got colds and we come to Coffs Harbour. Well, my colds just a bit gone, but poor old Grand, she's really struggling. And Mia's, Mia's pretty sick. I'm hearing the sounds of bugs. Ooh, ow, ooh, ooh. How are we going to cross this river? We can't, I'm afraid. Unless you want to wade through. I'm not getting wet, I can tell you that. It's, no, nor do I. But I also don't have a towel. Weather's not bad here though, is it? It's quite warm, it's quite nice. A little bit surprising, I thought it might be, um, you know, pretty cold. I was, I was thinking it was going to be cold down here, but it's... Ah, uh, yes, it's sort of like a, well, I'm in the road of it. Yeah, it is an unusual colour rock, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what that white stuff is. Look at this one, Floyd. It's like someone's welded it back together. Yeah, like that bit's broken off and someone's sort of welded it back around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These rocks are black, aren't they? Look like coal. But to the touch, they're quite solid. These islands out here are nice. You can actually drive across that one by the looks. Ah, oh, you can drive up to a certain point, I'd say. I'm going to zoom in on that one. Where are they going? Yeah, they're driving up to the something up there. I don't know what that place is. Probably Yacht Club, I suppose, the usual thing. Yeah, nice little inlet. Well, this isn't an inlet. That's the ocean, obviously, but that bit here. Boat fishing over there. A couple of boats fishing. Yeah, so one and Floyd spent their time just wandering the beaches of Coffs Harbour. Um, well, then it was a little bittersweet. He spent time here. He had many friends here. Um, he'd partied here. He'd he'd worked here. He knew to have a to have a work. <sighs> Work and fun life balance. He was very aware of that. He would often practice yoga down here on this beach with his friends, and he, um, yeah, he would set up markets here and sell sell trinkets and the like, and it was something he he loved doing too. Um, so yeah, coming here was a, was special for him. There's no doubt about that, and. Um, yeah, he enjoyed it. He really did. He enjoyed being here. And
yeah, but it was just so classy. It really is. So it's, it's a must. You have to go there if you get course over there. Very well presented. Um, when you go in there, you'll see a big banana there. And when you go out, you'll see a big banana there, still there. It's a must do. nearly at um, Gundagoy, I think. These are the ruins of an inn that was built by Joseph and Rosanna Carberry in 1857 8 Limestone Inn. There, some right here. An Aboriginal on a Christian named Jack in the Boots, and an accomplice held up the inn and robbed patrons and staff of their money after Carberry's changed the inn's name to the Australian Arms for a short period by a succession of other licensees as the Squatters of Arms from 1865 until it was finally closed in 1876. So this is the Squatters Arms. Yeah, oh hang on. Yeah, Jack and the Boots robbed the damn points. Little sod. Yeah, it's not much left of it now. It'll still take a bit of getting back. So it's all former self. This is the dog in the tucker box here somewhere. I don't know where it is actually, that dog. And um, this is awfully cold here. Let's see this look. She's still holding together, some of it. Imagine that, the bloke who put that there. How long ago did he put that or this stuff in there? You know, like 1870 something. Amazing, 1860. Hard to believe. Tucker box. What's that do? Sure what that's about. That this one here has been moved, I think. That see that. Who is this Tucker? A dog? I don't know. So all I remember of it is this song by Slim Dusty. Tribute to our pioneers, unveiled by the Right Honourable J.A. Lyons, PC, former Minister of the Commonwealth, 28th, 11th, 32. Got a wishing well. I think this used to be out of... I think this used to be in a different spot or something. 
and they moved it here. So that's the dog. It's the original dog they sat there, but it's, um, I've got a feeling they moved it to here and it used to be somewhere else, I'm not sure. Um, they probably don't say that anymore, they've changed the... There's a thing that I'm going to get in there. It's freezing here. This wood rotting away. So they fly this wood out quickly, it rots, rots out here. It's so cold in these places, it's ridiculous. Yeah, can you imagine? It's just probably, just, well, it'd snow here for sure, wouldn't it? Have to. You can see the hills up there for. It snows here, where's the dead The hills of Gundagul. Look at this. says to Wayne, look, you should get out and meet up with your friends.